whoever has a bank account with Commonwealth, you need to strike. We need to make a protest because this is not fair. This is not fair. The amount of money that myself and other strippers have missed out on because of this f***ing banking app, internet banking altogether being down is absolutely f***ing ridiculous. <laughs> Hey gorgeous, welcome back and welcome to Stripper Vlog number 42. I am in Perth again this week and I am working Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. So it's Wednesday night and I'm just putting my makeup on now. I had a bit of a weird day, like I'm feeling like I felt so, not so much like energized, I just felt like really in flow and um really in tune today and now i'm just feeling really tired out of nowhere so i'm hoping my green tea will kind of be a little little bit of a shove i am ready to make some money this week i don't really know what the vibe is i think the weather has been a bit like it's been a little bit cloudy here in perth and um it doesn't get like cloudy or rainy in perth often and i feel like people freak out a little bit it's like when um when i first moved to perth i think I, i'd only been here a few days and i remember like it had been it rained for like two days in a row and i had an uber driver that said to me she was like, oh my god, the weather's just been crazy here lately. And I was like, two days of rain? Like, okay, whatever. But, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm just in the middle of, like, sorting out my life at the moment because I'm going to move back to Perth and a lot of things that I need to sort out. So, I'm like, in a few weeks, I'm going back to Brisbane, like, literally for, like, two days because I have, um, have an appointment. So... You can't tell from, like, just, like, from looking, but I have, like, some, like, little lumps in my breasts. Like, you can only really tell if you, like, like, press down, like, hard on them. Like, it's, it's, like, it's fine. Like, it's all good. I just get them tested every two years. Like, I get a biopsy and I get an ultrasound just to see, like, what the go is with them. Like, just to make sure that, like, I keep them in check. And I have to um, be home for um, an appointment at the hospital for that in a few weeks. And then I'm going to start moving Ooh, my things over. So, that'll be, that'll be fun. But I do want to do like a few more shifts into Woomba before I properly come over. Like I feel like I've come home in a way. And it's like moving to this city has really like when I first came here, I um, it had a really positive impact on my on my life. This city has done like a lot of really good things for me. And um and I, I just feel as though, like, my life is moving in, like, a positive direction again. And I, I just I just feel as though, like, this city does a lot of good things for me. And I know, like, there was a time where um, I wasn't meant to be here. But now it's, like, time for me to come back. So I'm coming back. It's been a long time since, like, I felt as though I've known what I want. And... I'm just feeling like I've experienced a lot of clarity over um, the past two weeks since I've been back here. But yeah, like other than that, I don't have a whole lot else. I, um, not a whole lot of like updates. I know for a while there was like so much going on in my life that I needed to start every like vlog with like a sit down and like update you with what's happening in my life but um it's been like i've been pretty chill i've still been like fairly busy like it's not that i haven't been doing anything it's just that like it's it's been pretty chill my life is not as chaotic as it once was which is nice I feel like i had a lot of um i was experiencing a lot of stress and and i've like noticed that that, that has kind of lifted from my from my body a bit i'm just i'm just saying very simply that I'm feeling a lot better and I'm just saying it in a, in a lot of words and using more examples than I need to. I don't even need to give evidence. Like, all I'm trying to say is I'm just, 
I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. And I know that this is right for me. But I don't know how, um, how it's going to be weird at work without Grace. It's been so, so special to get to know every single one of you. Um, I really feel like we're a family. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Grace. Um, I just feel so honoured to work so close to all of you. Because she was such um, a big part of... I'll finish doing my eyebrows first. Okay, my brows... And not my friend tonight. I don't know why they're doing what they're doing, but it's not it's not nice. I swear if my eyebrows make me late. I'm gonna be so angry. Why do I keep making it worse? I don't have time. Okay, that'll do for now. If I have time, I'll fix them later. Anyway, I'm going to put on put on something inspiring and keep doing my makeup. See you at the club. and I just did a 10 minute lap dance. Other than that, the club, there's not much happening. I'm just gonna drink some water, chill out and see what happens. getting kind of bored and I don't want to like just I need something to like keep me going because otherwise I get it. if I'm bored then I yeah I need to keep walking around keeping myself occupied because otherwise I'll just like I don't have good energy when I'm bored but okay I'm gonna find a way to entertain myself okay so it's 12 30 and I haven't done anything else the customers in here tonight are a little rude. Just like walking up, like walking away when you walk up to them. Like, just like you do want like people to, like women to talk to you, right? Like that's why you're here. Like, surely you want female attention, but yeah, just very, um, quite a frustrating crowd. Haven't really done anything, but there's still an hour and a half left, still time, so. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I am home. I... Oh. I need to book in to see. I need to book in for the Cairo. 
but I'm not gonna have time when I'm in Brisbane. <laughs> so, what do I say? I managed to get five minutes just at the end of the night by fluke. It was um, it was looking looking like I was just gonna have ten minutes all night, and I guess five <laughs> five minutes isn't isn't like yeah, it, it's fine. The crowd was not not ideal tonight. It was like every customer, like you'd walk up to them, like not just me, like this was happening to pretty like pretty much every girl. You'd walk up to them, and then they'd just be like that just wouldn't talk to you or they'd walk away or they'd just be like like what do you expect to happen like you're in, you're in a strip club <laughs> do you not want women to like to come up to you and talk to you that's the point of being in this venue anyway just p people were being like people were being rude all night um even like you'd like be talking to someone and asking them questions and then they'd be like, oh, I'm not interested. And I'd, and I'd say, that's not what I asked. I asked you where in Melbourne you're from. And then they'd be like, no, 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 no I'm not interested. It's like... <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you could have answered the question and then said that, but whatever. Not a fan. Of, not a fan of the crowd at all. So yeah, I did the ten minutes at the start, which was. <laughs> so what happened was this. Um, this guy, when like when I quoted him, the price for like for a lap dance, he was like, "Oh, I don't think that's like that. That I think that's a bit too much for me. I don't like. I can't really um, pay for that." And I was like, "No worries, darling. Would you like to tip me?" And he says, "Yeah. Okay. Sure." And we walk up to like POS, and he tips he um, tips me like a hundred dollars, and I think okay like that's that's a bit weird, but like I mean like I'll take it, and then um, we like go back down to like to the main floor, and I'm chatting with him for another thirty seconds or so. Like I tell him thank you. I'm like, do you know where everything is? Like, do you need help with anything in the venue? And he goes, oh, like, when are we going for that dance? <laughs> and I was like, um, you didn't book a dance? You gave me a tip? Like, I thought I was clear on on that. And he was like, oh, I, no, I thought that was a dance. It's like, you said you couldn't afford a dance, so you gave <laughs> I was like, anyway, whatever. If you want to do a dance, it'll be this much extra. And he then booked me for a 10 minute dance. So it ended up being, being fine. But I was like, how do you, how do you get those two things mixed up? Like, <laughs> and then my last customer, the five minutes at the end, I was like, well, would you like to tip me? And he goes, I already tipped you though. And I said, that was the payment for the dance. You can choose to tip me afterwards as like good etiquette. And he goes, ah, oh, how do you get like a tip and a lap dance confused? And how did like, how did that happen like to both my customers tonight? I don't know, but it's beyond me. It's so wasn't, wasn't, a, wasn't a huge night. Um, money wise but I still did but I mean I still did I still did okay like it could have been a lot worse considering so for my dancers plus payment for my stage I made $320 which I mean it's, it's 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 money. I mean, it's more money than I had going into work. So, really, bit of bit of a weird start to the week, but whatever. We'll see what the weekend has in store. So, yeah, anything can happen. So, I'm gonna start ready. For
I'm gonna start getting ready for bed and I will see you on Friday. Now my fingers are stuck together. What a nightmare. Okay, that wasn't as glamorous as I thought it was going to be. Not that I thought it was glamorous, but... Okay, so it is Friday night and I'm going to start getting ready for work. I'm just going to do a little bit of... I thought my camera just like like being zoomed in more than more than usual sometimes so yeah anyway i am going to do a round of tapping and start doing my makeup i do have my jessica rabbit show tonight um not that i really feel like doing excuse me not that i really really feel like doing a show because i have my period so it's like yeah, I'm not in the like the the sexiest mood, but I'll still I'll still make it work. So I'm gonna do my um I, I always do like purple eyes, red lips for um when I do my show. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Went down the wrong way. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I'm going to do some tapping and then do my makeup. I do want to do a new show. I just don't know what it's, but it's like, um, I've always, I've always wanted to do it like a cat, like a cowboy style show. So I'm thinking maybe that, but I know that it's, it's a bit cliche and I kind of want something a bit more unique, but I don't know what I'll, I'll figure something out. So I'm going to do some, do some tapping. I am certified in the EFT, but I like to have like, um, I just like to have a video to like follow along and my favorite EFT channel or like person on YouTube who does like EFT videos is Brad Yates. So check out his channel if you want to get into EFT. So I'm going to do that now. I'm sorry it stopped focusing a bit, but anyway, okay, let's, let's get into this. So I'm ready to go and let's make some money tonight.
my show is in 10 minutes and I don't have time, like I don't have enough time to go out and um, like get any more bookings. So I'm gonna start getting ready for my show now, put my Jess Rabbit outfit on. Um, I did do a 20 minute dance just before, but um, yeah, the club is unusually quiet. Um, we are coming into winter and people are, people are scared. I don't know. Anyway, the night is still young and we'll see what happens after my show. actually fairly early for um for friday we closed at 3 45 and normally we close at like four well depending on how busy it is but um yeah it was it was a slow night so we closed a little earlier than normal <sighs> so the um yeah it was it was it was like a pretty slow night like all across um well for me anyway i know i know some dancers did okay which like i mean amazing happy um but i didn't even like i didn't feel like i really like suffered throughout the night i kind of was just sort of like floating around going with it like i wasn't it wasn't like like a, a draining or really like i was still chilling you know it was fine. Um, I still made my minimum. I still like did like considerably well for um, what the night was. The longest booking I had was 20 minutes. I had, excuse me, the longest booking I had was actually 20 minutes and I only had two, and I had two of those. So it was like a few five minutes, a few 10 minutes, and then like two, yeah, what did I do? Yeah, I did two... Oh, wow. Yeah, I did two five minutes, two ten minutes, and two twenty minutes. And, like, that's combined with, like, tips, tipping dollars, um, stage, and my, the payment for my show. And I, like, I'm actually really not happy with my, with my show tonight because... Okay, the stage had been like so slippery all night. I don't know what what the deal was, but the stage was so slippery all night. And then when I was doing my show, I was like, oh my god, I'm good. like I have to be. I was like so cautious about like not falling on my face. I, I feel as though like I just didn't do as well as I could have, but it was fine. And the crowd was pretty. Shit. It was like one of those crowds where you're like. 
where like the MC's like, oh, like who, like who wants to see this? Who wants to see that? And then it's just like one person cheering. I said, does anyone It was like one of those, like no, like no one even, like it was like no one even cared that I was on stage, like literally, like naked, like, <laughs> it's like, what did you pay, like, what did you pay entry fee for, like, what are you doing here, like, I am literally performing for you naked, like, why are you in this venue if you don't, if you're not even getting excited about exactly what this venue provides, I don't understand. A lot of customers were just kind of like, well, not that there were a lot of customers in the venue, but the majority of customers that were in the venue were just like, <laughs> not doing anything. But then again, I, I, I swear I spent half my night on the toilet, like changing tampons. I don't know like what it is, but as I get older, like, it just, I thought, as I got older, periods were supposed to get easier. I thought that was supposed to get lighter. I don't know. I feel like it, ev like every period I have now, it's just like gets more intense, and I have to like change tampons more frequently, and I'm not living for it at all. But, but only one more night, and then I. I literally only had it in Canberra three weeks ago. Like my cycle keeps getting shorter too. I'm like, can you can you let me live? I know I know I know my uterus wants me to have a baby, but I it takes two to tango. I have to want one first. So, um, oh yeah, and Combank was down again. Literally three weeks ago when I was in Canberra, Combank was down again. So Commonwealth Bank, get your shit together. It's not hard to have an app that works. If you did maintenance three weeks ago, why the do you need to do it again? And why the am I not focusing? And why always do it on a Friday or a Saturday night when we're trying to make money? You never do it on a Sunday night or a Monday night. Why do it on a weekend? It, like... I, and it, it wasn't just like, it was, it was Bankwest as well. Both Bankwest and Commonwealth Bank were down. But Bankwest, like, it... it if you're not doing it like all the time, then it's fine. But Commonwealth Bank is f***ing notorious for always being down. Like the app, you're not like not able to transfer money. It's just like you need to get your together. When are we organized? Like I don't have, I don't bank with Commonwealth Bank, but I feel like we need to strike. Whoever has a bank account with Commonwealth, you need to strike. We need to make a protest because this is not fair. This is not fair. Or a group of us strippers need to sue Commonwealth Bank because this is like the amount of money that myself and other strippers have missed out on because of this fucking banking app. Internet banking altogether being down is absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's like you're a bank. People trust you with their money and then they can't even access it. Boycott Commonwealth Bank boycott Commonwealth Bank. I've had enough. I've had enough. Like, get your shit together. Boycott Commonwealth Bank. Please. <laughs> this, this isn't acceptable. Yeah. Not a whole lot else to report on. I was pretty bored most of the night. Just like waiting. Waiting around my dream customer who's gonna come in it's gonna come in and then just book me give me a massage give me a foot rub and then tip me a few thousand dollars please 
one day you'll come in. So, my total for the night, which I'm obviously super grateful for considering how slow the night was, is $1,205. So, definitely not complaining, even though I am complaining. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm still grateful for what I made, and it could have been a lot worse. So, yeah. I mean, it's the start of winter, and it's like, I don't understand. The start of winter should be like a signal to, like, should symbolize, okay, it's going to get cold soon. So let's make the most of the semi-cold weather now and do things. But people, as soon as it, get, it gets cold, everyone just starts freaking out and wants to stay, in, stay inside. And it's like, it's going to get colder, you realize. Just live it up now before it gets worse but not everyone thinks like me obviously so yeah whatever i am gonna have some chocolate and sort myself out for bed so i'll see you tomorrow for saturday night and it's gonna be busier it's gonna be a better night but I'll see you then. I have focus, I'm in a rush. Okay, so it is Saturday night and, oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to go to work and I don't really know what to expect tonight. It has been raining. So, we'll see what happens, but, yeah, but I'm going to do my lipstick in the car because I'm running a little behind, but, yeah, I'll see you at the club. wondering where like um, the end of my lash was because I couldn't find it on the bathroom sink I just found um, the end of my lash in my oh. my lashes in my hair it's not focusing thank you there you go <laughs> teamwork <laughs> Why 
only concern is like I don't want to have to speak loud right. for the for the audio what about to floor here. I did that before, but I think I j oh actually I could probably use this as a bit of a ledge. Okay, that's a lot better. And then should I have this for <laughs> just some greenery? <laughs> Hi. 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 What, is there something you'd like to st like to say? Um, no, not really. Okay. I don't think so. Actually, I want to light a candle. I'll do that before I leave. I thought you meant for the video. Um, do you want to hold it? Oh no, it's okay. I just I thought you meant um, I want to light a candle. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Okay, it's a bit niche, but fine. God is with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually really funny. Okay. Thank you for yeah. the tea. Actually, I might put, put that in. Just say, <laughs> Miss S has lit a candle for us today. Um, yeah, God, God is with us, guys. In memory of... Um, Whoever is unsubscribed from, from our channel, may, may they um, may they um, rest in peace. May they rest in peace. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of it like that. <laughs> what a good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy <that's> birthday. <it. laughs> okay. So you can probably tell I'm in a different space. Miss S has done up a spare room for me and it's incredible. It just has such nice vibes in here. So I'm going to be filming in here from now on for um, the work vlogs. Yeah. So I'm just so grateful for this space. It's such a, such a nice room. So I'm really happy that I'm here. Yeah. So tonight was it was it it was pretty pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. I think I mentioned that before. It was just like the crowd was full. Of, like it was like they weren't nice people. So it was pretty difficult. Um, this I didn't do any dances over 20 minutes. I have not done a dance over 20 minutes all week, which is like, that blows my mind. I don't know. But I have to say that people who booked me tonight did tip me. So I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, it was just like the people who did book were good. The, um, I, and I didn't have any problems with like any issues with people breaking the rules or anything so nothing wrong with that it was just it was it was a lot to deal with and um yeah a big headache working tonight but I made it through like and at one point I think um this guy spilled his shot like spilled a shot like right down my ass crack and didn't even like did nothing about it and yeah, it was, it was, Mercury Retrograde. So it's week one of working the second Mercury Retrograde of 2022, so that's done and dusted. Now we only have to do a few more and then it'll go back to normal. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of hectic energy in there, a lot of that not focused. A, a lot of, yeah, bullshit. 
everywhere, so it wasn't wasn't amazing. But I still I still did decent. I'm super grateful for how my night did turn out. Pretty much did um yeah. I did stage twice. I did um, a podium at the beginning of the night, um, which I, like I actually asked to go up because and I, that's something I hardly I hardly ever asked to go on stage. But I was just like I was floating around and I felt bored and I was like you know what I want to be moving to start to start myself off to, to get like the energy flowing, and um, it was just like a bare stage like no one came like there were people standing around like. Because the way this club is, there's like the tipping seats and then there's like a railing behind it and people are like standing on the railing, like, lean, like leaning over, watching, getting as close as they could without having to tip, but they weren't tipping. And I was like, I, like, I know you're enjoying it, like, come on, show me, show me some money. So that was, that was, that was annoying. But whatever, I did, and I did the last podium as well, which I, I actually asked to go, <laughs> actually asked to go up for because I was like, there was nothing really left in the club and you know what, I'd rather get paid for like stage than kind of just like hover around for, for a little bit. And I actually, I ended up making $60 in tips, like I ended up doing $60 worth of tipping dollars from that stage, which really surprised me. Because when I first walked out, there was one person there, and he had three tipping dollars. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I somehow, somehow it worked out. But yeah, I didn't even know it was going to be the last podium. It was just kind of announced, like it, it was kind of like the podium was finished, and then um, we have a song that was created by a really talented dancer at our club that like is pretty much like the closing song. And that came on, and I was like, oh, okay. Because when I had um, originally gone up to look at the stage roster, I knew that there were a few more podiums left. I'd like only like one or two, but I thought that I was, yeah. Anyway, that was a bit of a surprise, but I mean, meant meant I didn't have to f around. Um, and th yeah, there wasn't really anything in the club, and that w no more people were getting let in, so whatever so yeah I did I did three 20 minute dances no way I only did three 20 minute dances and three 10 minute dances which blows my mind that's like not that's like nothing it was it, yeah it was not um, it was not really happening tonight or this week f for me but I made it through. So for the total amount that I made tonight is 1,452, which I'm super grateful for considering considering how the night was, how um, difficult it was, and what the crowd was like. And yeah. It was rough, but I made it work. I made it work, and I think that's like three thousand all nights combined. So I mean, which I mean, which is it's it's still fine. It's just like after doing a like six point five and then four point seven, having like a bit more of a drop, I'm like. Okay, can we go back? <laughs> can we can we have a, can we have a really good week again? But um, yeah, that's just that's just the way it goes. We can't like that's just, that's just the way it is. Like the the industry is like you never know what you're gonna get. But I I still enjoy it anyway. I mean like of course I love it more when I'm making more money. But yeah, and I mean it's still like. It's nothing to sneak that. So I'm just I'm just exhausted. I I need to take this stuff off my face. Get get a get a shower. Get get myself in the shower and relax. 
so I'm going to be in Perth again next week, obviously, and I'll keep you updated with my schedule, but yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll see you next week for another, another Perth stripper vlog. Next time you see me, I'll, I'll have, I won't be yawning as much, I promise. But yeah. I'm gonna get cosy, get comfortable, and yeah. So yeah, if you like stripper vlogs, please make sure you like this video so that I know you like this kind of content. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos come out and also if you have subscribed before please check that you are subscribed so that because I know YouTube <laughs> does that does does the thing sometimes but yeah all my social media stuff is going to be linked down below TikTok Instagram OnlyFans Patreon and I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and I hope you have a magical day I need to do some, I need to come up with like a signature thing apart from a wave and I hope you have a magical day.